lieber Till. Äh, heute ist ja wieder eine schöne Vorlesung in der Reihe Dienstag um sieben. Äh, und äh, wir freuen uns sehr, dass äh, NP Dösef aus Paris heute einen Vortrag hält. Aber bevor ich das Büro vorstelle, äh, würde ich noch kurz ein paar allgemeine Mitteilungen äh, machen. Ähm, es ist so, dass äh, die nächste Veranstaltung im Rahmen der äh, Learning Landscape Vorlesung findet statt am äh, 2. Februar 2021. Da gibt es um 7 Uhr einen Vortrag von äh, Lacaton Vasal aus äh, Paris. Und für alle, die jetzt an den Geräten sind und auf der Höhe bleiben wollen von den Entwicklungen äh, hinsichtlich der, der Vorlesungsreihe, äh, gibt es die Empfehlung, sich bei Instagram anzumelden. Einerseits bei FAL. Hannover, das ist der Instagram-Account von der, von der äh, Vorlesungsreihe und bei äh, Studio Camp Till, das ist der äh, Instagram-Account äh, vom Lehrstuhl äh, Camp Till. Und ähm, äh, what I do now, I switch to, to uh, English and uh, our guests tonight are uh, NPDF uh, from uh, Paris and uh, Francois Chat and Nicolas Guerry will give uh, the lecture tonight. They told me that the lecture will take about, uh, let's say, one hour, and after that we will uh, have uh, a little bit time for uh, some questions. And uh, let's say I want to just before uh, Francois and Nicolas start, just say a few words about uh, the office. The office was founded in uh, 2009 by uh, uh, four uh, partners and the office has at the moment about 25 uh, employees and employees are at the moment teaching in uh, Versailles but they have already also in the past teaching at the PBSR in uh, Dusseldorf and the let's say the office just started let's say like a, 11 years ago, but already in this very short time of uh, 11 years, NPDSF could produce quite an interesting uh, body of work. And I would like to name two realizations. One is the uh, circus school, I think somewhere in the France of, uh, somewhere in the south of France that was finished a couple of years ago and a very nice housing project in Paris that uh, they developed together with uh, office uh, Kirsten Kreas, David van Zeberen. And at the moment, uh, NPDSF is working on, uh, I would say, three uh, very interesting and uh, impressive uh, projects. One is uh, one new arena for the Olympic Games in uh, Paris that will be opened in uh, 2024 and uh, they at the moment building a huge uh, sports center in uh, Bordeaux and as I understood right they also started already with the construction of the new architecture school in Marseille and uh, I think now I said enough and I'm really uh, curious and I would like to ask you guys to start with your lecture. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to thank the Faculty of Architecture and uh, Landscape and uh, André and Oliver uh, for this invitation and uh, for these words. Thank you. We are very happy uh, to be with you today. Uh, I'm Francois, I'm with uh, Nicolas. We are two of the four partners of uh, NPDSF. We started working, uh, in fact, uh, uh, together in uh, 2007. And uh, tonight we are showing our reflection and work with uh, five uh, main projects talking about sports and education, because, because uh, it's the subject. Uh, so let's begin with uh, some uh, statements very important for us. 
And firstly, I'm going to talk about uh, sports and games in general. We have been uh, interested uh, in uh, precisely this theme for a few years at the agency because uh, this approach allows us to consider the space that surrounds us differently. Uh, a place, a public space, are no longer fixed forms, but vectors dependent on the use and practices uh, to take place there. So this is uh, uh, Peter Brugger's children's games, uh, and it insists uh, on a saturation of the painting space by uh, an over-representation of games, activities, 20 children playing 191 different games. So the public square becomes a simple support and the architecture a pretext. It insists on four points in the way of Aldo Van Eyck's Amsterdam's playgrounds. The form create uses, uses create places, places create the city. Seeing a space uh, under the prism of uh, sports makes it uh, possible to think of new connection, to create a new grid of reading be between a, a specific place and its context. Uh, new, new, new consistencies, a space does not have one identity, but uh, different faces. This is a, a fairly natural extension of uh, our daily and multiple practices of the city. A ventilation grid becomes a football cage. We look at the street differently when we drive it, when we cross it on foot, when we stop it, uh, when we stop to, to stretch during a, a footing. So this way of using spaces is not due to a desire to divert because uh, the place themselves are not transformed. It is rather to think about uh, the constraints of each places and therefore their potential. Uses is a space in itself. Because the project because, uh, becomes an open use, uh, allowing a permanent interpretation and uh, a lamppost here uh, is also a football player. Uh, concrete blocks on the ground are seats, round, uh, skate ramps uh, are a silent landscape. A round corner uh, in the ground becomes a, a BMX springboard. And a bench uh, sitting uh, comes out of playground and creates an ambiguity between inside and outside, between sport and city. So a topography in the ground creates a sport, not yet Olympics, but here the foot basket on the left. And uh, when we look at these spaces precisely, when we put them in perspective, we begin to create a larger scale mental uh, image of the neighborhood and the city in which we are. This is a, it's a, a way of deconstructing a city by architecture and by the uses created not necessarily by the iconic architecture figures, but rather by um, the actual built DNA of the city. Bo calls these places nameless architecture. Sport practice creates a more direct perception of the environment, uh, like a phenomenological uh, reading of the city. Uh, the first project that we are going to talk is the uh, National Circus School of Chalon en Champagne. Um, not exactly in the south. It's the north. Uh, we, we won the project uh, in 2010, and it was a competition for uh, the Ministry of Culture in France. Um, it's important to say in introduction uh, that the school is uh, the only one uh, public uh, circuit school in France and its equivalents in the world are uh, in Sydney or Montreal, uh, which are big city, uh, big school. And uh, so we, we had in mind uh, where, when we begin uh, the, this question, how to build uh, something uh, uh, emblematic and huge um, 
as possible in this uh, little, little town. Um, so here's some picture of the uh, context existing one before the project. Um, the seat before the school was uh, an industrial and uh, agric agricultural uh, site uh, bought uh, by the ministry uh, during uh, the 80s. Uh, very uh, strong, um, I would say, uh, site with a very uh, long and uh, uh, important history. And uh, this uh, uh, um, important infrastructure, the highway, uh, cross, crosses the site, the site uh, for, for, for example. Um, until the contest, uh, the school used old tents and uh, uh, buildings that uh, exa existed on the site. Our idea was to uh, conserve all, all the existing buildings and to build the new one on an empty part of the site. Uh, to, continue the to continue the industrial system and for conserve the maximum on void uh, on the site. The, the idea was also to design an emblematic building uh, big and able to permit all of the circus creation. The programs were uh, very different and complex with, for example, uh, office spaces, uh, classrooms, and uh, large spaces like gym, uh, three coagulated, in fact, with especially a space for acro acrobatics with a height of uh, 21 meters. So we decided to install this program on one level uh, with all the spaces agglomerate, agglomerate uh, alongside one another. Um, this plan presents the, 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 the level as a, as, a, as a city plan uh, with streets, places, uh, patio, a maximum of diversity to organize the program and let, let enter the, the, the sun inside this big form. We propose to conserve uh, all the buildings, uh, even if they are built with uh, non-authorized uh, material, for example, the asbestos. And we just proposed for the same price to change uh, the coagulate plate uh, with, as albesto, with asbestos, with the same, uh, without, uh, without it. Yeah, um, before and uh, now. There is not a lot of difference. <laughs> um, and the same exercise with EVU. Uh, we, sta we started the construction period. Um, and uh, the new figure. Uh, we, we tried like that to create a, a, an homogeneous, powerful building. Uh, only two details uh, show that it's not an industrial hangar, uh, but an emblematic school for, for us. Uh, the, the, large, the large gate, uh, which permit to do acrobatics uh, inside and outside, and the big exterior concrete uh, staircase, uh, the staircase is uh, now a strong landmark for the city and for the people who drive uh, on the highway. Um, okay, here's some section uh, with on the left the existing part, the new part in the center and uh, the staircase, of course. Uh, and the big section uh, with the, the new part and the... Um, student housing at the beginning of the, uh, of the, uh, on the right, the existing part in the center and the new, and the new part on the left. Um, we decided during the studies to build the structure uh, with uh, prefabricated uh, concrete parts. Um, and when the company was chosen, uh, we could not do this because of the distances between the factory and the site. And um, so with the builders, uh, we created such a... Sorry. 
such a, a little uh, uh, factory <laughs> um, on site to uh, create uh, those parts. Uh, the pool uh, was uh, to pour the concrete, uh, then the concrete will dry, and finally the concrete will be lifted and moved into position. This daily process uh, would continue uh, for three months. <clears throat> Here's some picture. We, we were very fascinated by this picture with only the structure and not wall and not uh, um, uh, not the, the other part of the of the construction, the skin of the building. And then we fixed uh, the prefabricated uh, wooden panels on all sides of the structure. And finally, uh, the fibro ciment coagulated uh, plate was put on. Here's some photo inside. And uh, some picture of the, of the project delivered. So here you can see exist, um, a new part when we, when we take the picture and uh, all parts um, through the city. And some inside uh, school here, um, the dancing room. And some patio to let the, the, the light uh, go in. some assemblage of the details of the concrete. And finally, uh, the project used by the students. Yeah, and um, during the opening of the building, uh, we were very happy to have the, the big uh, gate open and uh, this acrobatic in between inside and outside, that was uh, the goal of the, this architectural element. And this project was one of the first projects uh, of the office. And we, uh, we won it and designed it with uh, uh, an architect in Marseille, uh, specialist of the, this uh, type of transformation, uh, um, agricultural and so on. Uh, his name is Mathieu Poitvin, uh, and it was a, a very interesting uh, collaboration for us. So another project um, and uh, another reflection about uh, architecture and uh, the surroundings and the city and as a, an extension of the intimate relationship that are working on between architecture and urbanism, between building and city, I will now describe the project uh, of the Cathedral des Sports in Bordeaux. So this is a, a private promotion a project whose uh, construction uh, uh, will begin uh, now. So the sport cathedral uh, will settle in a district under construction uh, of Bordeaux in front of the historic center, uh, the city center. Uh, the district, uh, the new district is the district of Braza. Uh, the building will assemble in the same structure on a 15,000 uh, square meter, uh, a large number of different sports. Obviously, we had in mind uh, Cesse Pompeii of Lina Bobardi, uh, which shows and puts forward in a total structure and heated sport spaces for most part. Uh, it also highlights the ability of sports to create strong interaction between uh, different places, between athletes and between the building itself, itself and the, its uh, surrounding. 
So uh, the cathedral is a, a building of uh, 20 meter high uh, plus uh, 20 meter on the, the roof and uh, 80 uh, meter long by uh, 20 wide, uh, 30 wide wide. This is a, a place of more than 10 different spots. And we can see here in axonometry the, 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 the collage of each spot. Uh, and now in the section, uh, the slabs are established at different uh, heights to allow the possibility of setting up sports such as uh, climbing or paddle tennis. And uh, at the top, the net of the golf practice, we can see. These sports fields are in uh, co-visibility. They, they, they create a, a common uh, energy. That's why uh, they call that uh, uh, Cathedral des Sports. Five slabs uh, as uh, five public places, as uh, five uh, Bruegel paintings are superimposed, and they create living free uses and sports facilities. So from bottom to the, the top, the bottom to the top, here, the ground floor, and then we go up. So the species of, uh, of city public spaces have almost no facade, only uh, 4,000 square meters on uh, 15,000 uh, usable are heated. It's the, just the shop, the yoga, the local rooms, and the restaurants. The other places are occupied with the outdoor sports. Outdoor sports. So when we go up, you can see the different sports and different places. And uh, in gray, the unheated spaces, and uh, in white, the heated spaces. Here, the level of the paddle tennis and uh, mini golf. It's in the third, third floor. Uh, and uh, this level is uh, completely uh, open to the, to the outside and to the surroundings. And then, the roof and the, the, the golf uh, practice. And the structure of the golf practice. Another Brazilian reference uh, of uh, Salvatore Candia building in Sao Paulo, uh, the Metropole Gallery here. Uh, many Brazilian References finally to talk about sports, the sport cathedral, explained by, by a certain sweetness that we seek to speak of opening uh, to the outside. Uh, a certain economy of gesture that leads to remove the superfluous. Here, large floors, shelter, enclosed spaces, streets, finally, public spaces. The plan of each floor is drawn as a city, the same than uh, the Centre National des Arts du Cirque. Simple nets, uh, cutting winds, like those agricult uh, agricultural sheds uh, are position positioned all around the buildings. Simple nets, simple ag uh, agricultural nets. They block the breath, the breath of uh, unpleasant air while letting the building breathe. breathe. Uh, there is no mechanical smoke extraction, no blow off. The building is no low tech, but less tech. It's not an ecology of material, but it's more an ecology of the immaterial. It simply establishes new soft connection with its context and it opens on the city and uh, the city enters into uh, the building. So construction begins now and now we are here. So it's the very beginning of the construction, but we, you can see here the, the, the position of the, the new building. Here we go. Okay. The Olympic Game Arena project, one of the most important, the most important 
uh, actually for 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 us oh, okay. uh, placed in very um, um, very hard um, site uh, the La Chapelle Gate or the La Chapelle the north uh, of Paris uh, in um, surrounded by uh, a lot of infrastructure. Uh, like the peripheric, which is a, a, a highway sur sur surrounding Paris. Um, and uh, here is the, the drawing of the uh, actual, actual site. And um, here is the, the new uh, uh, La, La Chapelle gate uh, with a lot of uh, transformation, uh, with a new campus, the Condorcet one uh, on the left, um, a new uh, uh, three big new districts of housing, uh, Chapelle International, uh, Chapelle Charbon, uh, and uh, Gardemine, uh, just on the right of the project. Uh, and in this big district in transformation, we, we add in mind with all the architects involved in the project, um, the office school, and uh, as well uh, our friend of uh, Grau, um, which are specialists in urbanism, and they, 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 they drew all these uh, uh, important drawings uh, that we, we should... Uh, we should be a uh, supporter of this transformation. Uh, and this building um, uh, has not to be uh, just a stadium, an empty one every two weeks, but um, a, a project in, re in direct, direct relationship uh, with the urban fabric. Um, another important, uh, important um, fact is that in the project, we have, of course, a big venue uh, for more or less uh, 10,000 people uh, for sports and also for concerts, but as well uh, two gym and uh, 3,000 square meters or a complementary program with a cultural and sports one for a sort of daily program. So two, uh, two, two sides, the, the Big, uh, big event one and um, the daily one. And so uh, it was very important for us uh, to, to take this part of the project to create um, a relationship in between the building and the surrounding, uh, very, very precise, uh, very open uh, in our way. So we, we drew and we start with all uh, uh, this um, urbanism element, uh, those 10 ones with um, uh, the idea to, uh, um, to, to, to create uh, um, a project uh, in relationship with the surrounding, as I said, um, with a ground floor very open, with a lot of sweetness inside, uh, with a lot of uh, um, uh, prolongation of the, the canopy of the trees inside, and with a volume uh, just uh, created for the project and not for other things. Um, something uh, very uh, realism. Um, we had as well in mind, in this context, very, uh, um, very dense, uh, more uh, the idea of the theater, the theater, the Parisian one, for example, uh, than a big stadium. Because in the, the idea of the theater, we have the, the, the question of the density uh, inside, and uh, as well uh, the, the layers uh, very open on the city, uh, on the ground floor, and then the, the other levels. Um, we, we have also inside the, the, the logistic, which is very important for the program, uh, that we have to, uh, to manage uh, inside uh, uh, tiny spaces. And, and in the same time, uh, we wanted um, not just an arena, uh, as you said, because of the, the program helps us uh, not to have just an arena, but uh, we, we wanted a, a, a we, we say the Palais du Quotidien, uh, an everyday uh, place. Uh, it was not just a place for sports or for concerts, or etc. But we, we wanted just a, a place for uh, a, a normal place for the city and uh, facilities for the city. 
So the project is organized um, with three parts. Uh, on the left, the big venue. Uh, on the right, uh, the two gyms. Um, um, and in the middle, uh, uh, servant uh, building with all uh, the, the vertical axis, the core, and so on. Um, in the facade, you can as well uh, find uh, three, three levels. Mm -hmm. um, on the bottom, uh, the, the level in relationship with the city. Uh, very open uh, with big uh, glasses and the big concourse at the first level of the uh, main uh, arena. Uh, then the terraces uh, surrounded uh, by a big uh, end rail uh, with um, uh, lighted inside uh, to give some message um, to the inhabitants and to the people uh, around the building. And then uh, the upper volume uh, Sought just to uh, to allow uh, their uh, functions, uh, not uh, not uh, uh, not a part just uh, not part built uh, uh, for other things. Uh, it, it was a question for us to uh, to fit uh, with the economics and uh, to create uh, something uh, very, very compact, yeah. uh, just only for uh, the program and the uses. This is an extension of, uh, the, of the, what we had in our mind in the project of uh, the Centre du Cirque of Chalon Champagne, to fit every, uh, uh, every uh, spaces for each program, exactly. So here in axonometry, um, you can see uh, the big terraces surrounding all, all these uh, upper parts, the upper volume, with a lot of uh, uses, uh, playground on the north part or the, the uh, rest, uh, restaurant terrace uh, on the south, uh, and all the access uh, in this uh, uh, big uh, uh, ground floor um, basement. Uh, which is uh, which uh, which allow uh, all the all the uses of uh, uh, the different uses of the building. Uh, here is a, a picture uh, of the project inside the context, though, which is very hard uh, or, or today, <laughs> uh, one of the hardest in Paris, um, and then. Uh, just uh, just um, behind uh, the infrastructure, there is uh, the basement. But here, you can just see uh, the terrace, uh, the, the trees, and this, those big volume. Uh, they are for us like a, uh, an artistic form or a poetic form uh, with uh, uh, aluminum uh, in the skyline uh, of Paris. We, we like this. Um... It's not finished this uh, this picture because it's really uh, unprogressed now. But uh, we like this uh, this uh, idea to have a, a piazza uh, um, over the, the infrastructure uh, because this piazza has to uh, speak and to uh, be um, in um, uh, to, to to see uh, all around the the project and uh, it's uh, because it's up. Uh, uh, and um, it's uh, because it's above the, the, the infrastructure. We just pass away to the infrastructure, and we can see all the territory. It's the new ground, common ground of the project. No, here, here another view: the, the south one uh, with the same uh, elements, the same uh, ingredients. Uh, and uh, just uh, uh, to have a quick look on the uh, main plan, uh, so the uh, ground floor one, uh, with all the um, logistic part on the north uh, linked uh, to the big infrastructures, of course. And then uh, on the left part, uh, you can find uh, the big the, the, the big hall uh, on the right the gymnasium and in the center all this uh, it's not a city it's a world <laughs> inside this building uh, of all the technique uh, um, 
Uh, and all the park uh, needed to uh, to to create a, a building. A lot of complexity. A lot of complexity <laughs> for this one. Um, so here, uh, <clears throat> um, another view uh, of this this uh, uh, ground floor with uh, some aluminium parts, uh, the vertical uh, the vertical one, and uh, fillings in wood. Um, Uh, protect, uh, protected uh, by the terraces <coughs> above. Uh, here's the first level with the big concourse in the figure of a C uh, surrounded the, 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 the arena. The arena. <laughs> And uh, uh, on, the, on the right, uh, the, the, the gymnasium. All right. Uh, so here a view. Uh, so it, it that uh, represents for us something very important because the the, the district um, the surrounding it's uh, hard as I said, but uh, we didn't want to create something uh, uh, just turn uh, inside uh, inside him, uh, but uh, open to the city and to see the city and from outside uh, as well to see, uh, of course, inside. Uh, and um, then uh, the uh, terrace uh, level uh, with uh, the, the famous uh, um, spaces uh, of culture and, uh, uh, and sports and restaurants and beers and bar and, uh, and so on. Famous because it's known in Paris, uh, this place. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the, the terraces all around uh, this, uh, the, the gray uh, figure. And inside, uh, you can have some very important uh, places like this corridor, uh, uh, which is just a link. Uh, uh, linked uh, in between the, the, the big hall and the daily program on the right. So something to create a relationship uh, and not just uh, a, 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 ele a white elephant <laughs> uh, stadium uh, used uh, for a big moment. Mm. So here's some a picture uh, of the terraces with the playground and the uh, climbing place. And for finish, the, the west facade, donc the, the facade of the uh, big venue, and the east facade, the facade of the, the daily facade uh, of the project with the tube gym, uh, with big, uh, big, uh, Uh, windows, big opening to the to the city, and then uh, in between uh, the cultural uh, program with a smile to the city, <laughs> with a smile to the city. Yes. Ah, oui. ah, oui, voilà. From night in the North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we can, we have two projects left. Um, so we have just talked about uh, sports and uh, the body. Um, I will now develop uh, another recurrent theme uh, of the office is uh, the limited ambiguity that connects the building and the city inside the building and uh, uh, in the threshold. Uh, we like to work on this concept, both blurry and rich. So this, this is the Fab Lab uh, email project uh, in Brussels um, with uh, our friends of uh, Central. Um, and this project reflects precisely these issues. We will not develop uh, the specificities. We will not develop the specificities of the project, but uh, just um, we, we are going to focus on some points. So, um, Imel is a, a competition uh, launched by the uh, City of Brussels, uh, as well as by uh, the um, European uh, Union. We have responded uh, uh, three years ago, and it involves uh, redeploying a fab lab in a former floor mill uh, already used in uh, parts by the fab lab. 
and uh, the ground floor uh, is used by a beverage uh, deposit. We immediately uh, appreciate, uh, appreciated the great opening allowed by uh, the structure. And the floor of the city naturally extends uh, into the, the building and uh, it was the, the starting point of the project. The interpenetration and the maximization of the line of contacts uh, is uh, exactly uh, what we like in uh, Elsewhere Scully's uh, red and blue printing. So the facade uh, on the street, therefore, literally enters the building, creating uh, a metal uh, round structure here. So we just removed the, the building here, but it's the, the city that goes inside the, the building there. Large openings here uh, in blue can leave the opening uh, completely free. You see here a section of the, our intervention, uh, intervention uh, and by removing a part of the slabs here and here, on three levels, the building opens toward to the city uh, in this huge uh, volume. In turn, we see the shape uh, of the metal uh, round structure and the space uh, around, it, around it. We see here the, the white, uh, a, a white perforated metal net that follows the metal grid. The central uh, space allows to see the machine, uh, the machines, and they are displayed um, like uh, if they become an element uh, of architecture. So here are the different steps of the construction. Okay. It was not so clean, sorry. <laughs> Here, the grid. The stairs are, are coming here. And here is finished. It was just before the first lockdown in March. Now inside, you can see the clue here. The facade that's, that goes inside the building and the, 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 the big space inside in the middle. Here we can see by the holes uh, inside the, the, the net. Here is the ground floor. And we go, we go up. We like this kind of net because it created uh, at the same time a new facade and at the same time some transparencies. This is the, the, the five lab, the, the five lab part. Very, very basic. And uh, with the Suna spray, uh, thanks uh, Campatil for that. Few pictures now. Three left. Two. Et voilà. 
And last project, uh, I'm going to begin for the last project, uh, which is the uh, school, uh, l'Institut de la Ville et des Territoires, uh, Institut Méditerranéen de la Ville et des Territoires de Marseille. Um, it's a project, uh, this project is, is uh, developed uh, in association with uh, Marion Bernard from Marseille, Point Suprême from Athens, and uh, Jacques Lucan from uh, everywhere. The program is a, a school of architects, for architects, classic one, but also uh, for landscape architects and urban architects. And uh, this, in France, uh, it's the first time that we uh, link together these three, uh, uh, three, uh, three uh, schools. Uh, and um, it's an ambitious project, project uh, because uh, because we, uh, we began to, uh, to study uh, in this place in Marseille. So. To understand the project, you have to know that uh, this is a big changement for, uh, for the existing School of Architecture, which is uh, situated since uh, uh, 50 years in, at the limit of Marseille here, uh, near to the Calanque. Um, so uh, near to the sea, uh, it's a paradisiac landscape but uh, Lost Paradise far from everything. And uh, so it was uh, really uh, isolated, uh, which is not a good condition for a school who has to uh, deal with the city as a principal matter. And uh, when appeared the question to renovate uh, the actual uh, school, the authority, the Ministry of Culture decided to move the school in the center of Marseille. After all, the actual school has a lot of quality, quality, really appreciated by the students and the teachers, particularly because uh, of the link between inside and outside spaces. As we can see here, we can continue uh, to work, and it's very often to continue to work uh, outside the, the, the studios. Um, and it's uh, very specific uh, from the identity of this school. Each school has its own identity, its own label, and the, the label of, the, of Marseille is this thing. Uh, it's uh, also a radical move for the center of Marseille, which is going to uh, receive the school. So this is the school here. And uh, you can see a map of Marseille, the old port uh, on the left, the train, st the train station of uh, Saint-Charles here, and uh, in between uh, is the site of the project. And uh, for the moment, it's an em empty space, uh, which is used by, uh, to, to be the, the starting point, uh, which used to be the starting point of the highway, but now the highway is uh, removed. The plot is about uh, 5,000 square meters, uh, as a slope of 10 meters high, and it's surrounded by the place uh, Place de la Porte d'Aix here. Uh, this is an historical arc of triomphe, very French. Uh, the brief is uh, about an institute and uh, about the assemblage of these three schools, uh, landscape, design, uh, urbanism and architecture. And it's questioning at the same time the urban presence of a such assembly and the question of the functionment of this institute, which aims to favorize exchanges and interdisciplinarity uh, as, as a, a new urban campus. Here we can see uh, a map of Pompeii in the site, speaking of how to assemble a large variety of programs while creating a coherent, a coherent uh, um, outfit uh, with uh, in the middle the forum surrounded by an alignment of columns uh, which create a unity like a city in the city. The transcription of the Pompeii reference uh, is uh, in our project a structural plan letting appear the variation between the different elements and at the same time a common language around some voids. The voice, uh, are, uh, yeah, here are the, the three uh, poles. Uh, rather than, than uh, differentiate, uh, differentiate the three schools, 
um, it seems to us more accurate to distinguish the programs, distinguish, create voice, but also to allow to increase the singularity of each program. So the three buildings uh, on, the, on the left, the first one is uh, a bar, which brings together all the 30 studio. In the second, the second one, the second building here, uh, uh, are grouped all the places for research, uh, sorry, for this one, the research and innovation. And in the third, are position all the common spaces as the forum, the library, and the administration. So it's more linked by uh, abilities than uh, by uh, different kind of school. The three building on the left uh, and the result void on the right. So we, gen we can um, see the, the, the quite uh, equality of uh, empty space and uh, buildings. Yeah. Here are the three uh, courtyards created. And it's um, a project uh, that can also be understood in section. Uh, the adjacent, adjacent streets are sloping, and the different slabs of the project are as uh, many new ground floor in relation to the exterior. Create from nothing a, a building of this size uh, in the middle of uh, an historical center, innovatively uh, interrogate ourselves about the presence of, the, of this building. At the same time, because of its program, the building should appear as a system uh, able to integrate all the future and uh, the evolutions. So the main facade is uh, in our project an open facade collecting all uh, the, the echoes of the city and uh, as a, a temporary monumentally. This drawing presents the Arc de Triomphe facade and the part of our project facade. Uh, in a way, the building can be described as a, a classical building following the rhythm and composition of the Arc of the Triomphe, but in on the other way, uh, on the other way uh, we can read as an assemblage of, uh, a syst of systems and uh, a composition, uh, an assemblage of permanent elements and evolving elements. From far away, uh, the building appears uh, as a coherent building, a massive uh, ensemble. Uh, but when you come closer to the building, a, sub uh, a succession of uh, situations appear creating a lot of variation, a lot of more complexity and absorbing stairs, sand marks, and uh, the different places appears, like the forum here, the administration here is quite different, the library, and uh, here the studios. About massiveness, uh, here are two references, uh, speaking of the assemblage uh, we just speak about. Uh, Palazzo Terrucci and uh, Palazzo Lanfranchi on the right looks terribly, terribly irregular. But when we look as, uh, at it precisely, some irregularity uh, appears very quickly. In fact, some evolutions of the building comes, creating a complex and open architectural language. Here is the retranscription of our approach with the matter between uh, system and composition, a cascade concrete structure uh, with a, a white prefabricated uh, concrete filling creates uh, a, multiple, a multitude of spaces. Here you can see the gateway uh, to the Place de la Porte d'Aix, uh, a window, a void, etc. This assemblage is found of, uh, on uh, each of the three buildings. This relation between structure and, uh, and second uh, work. Second uh, the structural variations, uh, the, difference, the differences of positioning between the structure and the filling are the result of the necessities of each pole in terms of use of sunshine, with a very simple resolution, almost, almost archaic. 
So we are going to do a quick tour of the different spaces for the project. On the ground floor uh, are organized around the main courtyard uh, cafeteria here, the forum here, and the two amphitheater. One, two. These spaces assembled can operate independently of the rest of the institute and welcome external events. Here is the entrance bank. I prefer the quick tour. Okay. Let's continue with a, a quick tour inside the school. So the entrance. Uh, the main uh, courtyard, uh, which uh, on the left of the uh, on the on the left the cafeteria and on the right the forum, and um, uh, you can see as well the amphitheatre. Uh, here. Uh, here is a picture of the cafeteria, which is very open um, with a courtyard on the uh, right and the uh, students, uh, the students program uh, at the end of this place. Uh, here. Uh, here some uh, quick view of the amphitheater, which is open to the courtyard uh, with a, a natural um, uh, nat natural uh, uh, lighting, sun. yeah, lighting. Uh, lighting. Um, the forum uh, very open to the complex, to the context, and to the uh, uh, piazza. Uh, on the uh, upper level, um, the the courtyard uh, for experimentation. And here, uh, the, the experimentation workshop uh, open to the courtyard. Uh, and then uh, the third level, uh, which is very important because a new uh, um, a sort of new floor, new ground floor in in the uh, in the in the room with some very special program, the library, as Francois said. But also, but as well a very open uh, workshop uh, on the on the workshop uh, uh, bar <laughs> and uh, one level with double height uh, for uh, for research. Uh, here are some pictures of this uh, big uh, this important level um, with the uh, bigger terraces uh, as well. And here um, uh, uh, we can see uh, what Francois said about, about uh, continue uh, learning, uh, teaching, uh, creating outside uh, and not just uh, inside. Um, the the uh, quality of the uh, old uh, school that we, uh, we tried uh, to give uh, here as well. And on, uh, another view of, of the specific program. Uh, and uh, inside the library. Um, just a quick focus, focus um, on the ceiling and the biggest fan, because we develop on all the projects uh, a natural way uh, to refresh, to fresh the, the, the air. And uh, it's uh, everywhere uh, something very natural without, um, without uh, uh, something uh, technical. Uh, so here, uh, the, the normal workshop uh, that you can open in two, uh, in two parts. Uh, it's, it was a question as well of flexibility uh, imposed by the program. And here, uh, the outside corridor uh, to go inside this uh, workshop. Uh, we don't have any um, um, corridor in this project as well, but uh, just uh, it did uh, uh, program uh, like a room. Uh, here's some picture of the physical model and uh, the last, uh, the upper part with all uh, those big terraces open to the city and the landscape uh, of Marseille. Uh, here you can see the sea and uh, the island um, in, the, in the Marseille Bay. This is uh, oh yeah, sorry. 
Now, this is um, the, the, the support of uh, a direct and powerful relation uh, between uh, the, the, the building and the terri territory. And uh, uh, as you said before, our urban friends of uh, Gra would say, uh, INVT is the city's main supporter. And uh, we like to think uh, of our architecture and of our daily work in this spirit. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey guys, thank you very much. Uh, no applause this time. <laughs> I know it's a bit uh, disturbing, but uh, but I think uh, it was I think for me it was quite an inspiring lecture, and uh, I would like to 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 start the the question round maybe with one or two uh, questions by myself, and let's say I saw you I think for the last time a year ago at the lecture, and I let's say I was this time quite amazed that. Uh, Let's say it had a bit also probably to do with the selection of the project that there is, uh, a, from my point of view, a quite uh, developed uh, sensibility for um, the context uh, where your uh, projects are realized. Huh? So it for me, it seems that, uh, that you are using the, the, the existing context, the urban fabric, somehow as a sort of a motor to to basically uh, create the, the the typologies, but also the expression of the buildings. Eh? As we saw that the asbestos turns into a sort of new asbestos thing, or that you lift up the the, the building to have the view over the highway, or in the like in the school in 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 Marseille that you use somehow the the classical order of the arc to, um, let's say, produce a logic to, to integrate the, the new building into the urban fabric. And uh, for me, that's very interesting because let's say uh, on one hand you have, or let's say for me, the, the, the idea appears a bit that you are trying also to let disappear basically the new building into the urban fabric, yeah? like was very like was very well to seen in to be seen in the in the, in the circus school eh? where old and new basically uh, look more or less the same, and um, and I was wondering uh, um, where you learned it or where this uh, ambition comes from to produce these kind of buildings that are somehow that you can that can be interpreted as a sort of anti iconic approach. Eh? Um, after the school, uh, we, uh, François, Fabrice, uh, Paul and me, uh, worked uh, with uh, Jamel, uh, Jamel Clouche, uh, which is a famous uh, urbanist. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, that, uh, that was very important for us. Uh, and uh, and I think that uh, this input uh, with this big scale, uh, with this uh, uh, attention uh, to the public spaces um, is uh, uh, very, uh, uh, has a big impact in our architecture uh, today. Um, we are more working in uh, architectural uh, scale than uh, urbanism one, but uh, in all our projects, uh, I think that uh, uh, we we have uh, uh, this uh, this mark <laughs> uh, inside uh, inside our mind to 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 create building very uh, um, you know very with big relation uh, with the surrounding in the context. Yeah, the, the four of us uh, come from uh, La UC, Jamel Kush, it's true, and um, I remember when we used to work there. Uh, there, there, were, there was the, this project of uh, TNA Architects, uh, um, Japanese uh, office of the Mosaic House. And it's a very strange house around it. And um, it created um, a specific uh, quality of living inside this house. But uh, at the same time, it created a, a very um, 
interested, uh, interesting, and very uh, strong um, uh, place uh, in the in the street because the the the, the, the street was uh, surrounded uh, by the by this uh, building, and um, I, I think that. Um, uh, it was a it was a very uh, strong reference for us to uh, just to understand that uh, uh, questioning the city uh, is a question and questioning the a building is uh, the same question for us and uh, it's true that it's not the same scale it's true that uh, it's not exactly the same uh, skills uh, but in fact it's the same uh, question and the same uh, uh, magma and the same uh, approach. So um, that's why uh, it's not the, the it's not we, we cannot say that the buildings are not so important, but we just we, we just say that the buildings are not uh, the only importance uh, for the architecture. <laughs> okay, well, it was I think it was nice uh, nice answer because I mean for me it was quite clear that you because you had this experience with urban planning and I think that helps you from my point of view uh, very well to be able to create let's say bigger projects in a sort of urban context somehow eh? because you really and Thanks. I have another question that the uh, let's say what I can uh, see in your project is a certain I would say a fascination for what I would call the new primitive somehow eh? a sort of rough uh, simple uh, uh, construction <laughs> methods, straightforward use of materials. And I would say, I'm quite sure on one hand that has probably to do with the new economic uh, conditions in Europe, huh? that there is also not really uh, a big alternative in a way. Huh? But on the other hand, I've also the idea that um, that your approach is somehow also a sort of statement, uh, let's say, for issues of uh, uh, sustainability and also the, the problems we are facing regarding climate change. No. Um, yeah, we, we, we can say in three, uh, we can answer in three parts, um, but for the climate change, um, we um, we we are two. We have two two kind of gesture about this. Uh, the first one is um, uh, the the question of the immaterial ecology. Uh, I spoke uh, earlier about this. Um, it's just the 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 ID, the simple ID, and uh, uh, it's the same for the compact project. Uh, it's just the idea that we we have just to eat to eat uh, to eat to eat it, eat. Uh, just what is uh, the, the 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 minimum or the normal uh, element. We don't need, and when we don't need to uh, to, uh, to um, create a, a very special climate climate for the for the corridors etc. We just let uh, open. So this is the first thing, and uh, the, the the second thing is the the, the compact uh, project. So it's it's a question of economy. It's true, but it's also a question of uh, ecology. That's that, that's uh, that's true. And um, the the last thing could be um, this kind of uh, simplicity of rough things uh, comes also with a very big importance for the design for us. So it's not a matter of, uh, of uh, uh, it's more about form than, than design. It's for, about shapes uh, more than design. But it's not it, it, with a simple uh, fact uh, how to uh, to create a maximum uh, uses and uh, qualities. So this is a, a kind of economy of gesture and uh, um, uh, a nickel. Uh, we, we are looking for uh, just uh, the, 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 the good move, uh, not too much, because it's enough. Mm. We, we, we really like to have uh, efficient uh, uh, structure and, uh, and primary approach, but we really like as well some uh, very uh, typical form, very, very design, and to create uh, specific uh, spaces and uses. Uh, as a yeah, Aldo Van Eyck or uh, yeah. uh, all these uh, 
um, all those are, those architects we, we really like to uh, this uh, uh, circular staircase uh, in the circus school uh, because that just the point uh, a little bit uh, different clues uh, so, yeah and not just a radical for radicalism uh, for uh, but uh, to create uh, uh, those uh, those very formal uh, spaces and uh, uh, about uh, uh, sustainability, uh, it's clear that we uh, we work as well with a, a, a wooden structure uh, on uh, other projects uh, or this kind of approach. But uh, we had we have in mind uh, often the for sports uh, project, for example, why uh, we eat uh, the, the, the gym. Uh, why we eat all the, the, the sports spaces uh, because um, in a way sports it's normally outside uh, and uh, uh, we, we fight a little bit against the idea to continue to create the, uh, the gym with all this idea to have the uh, regular temperature uh, as well uh, in winter and so on and uh, it's uh, Uh, this immaterial uh, approach uh, that we, we really like <laughs> about this question. But it's a, it could be a good question. Uh, what would we have done if uh, there were no climate uh, problem, if there were no uh, economic problem? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is no, well, for us uh, the, the, the relation without COVID. <laughs> yeah. no, no, I don't know. Science fiction. Yeah, that, that's anyway also always a question. What would you do if you there were plenty of money? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, do you had an idea, or do yeah. you think it would send you in the wrong direction? <laughs> yeah, or we could say, oh no, it's too much money for us. We we have just to stop. Yeah, just for. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's also was also interesting that the that, that the project for for the Olympics looks also quite economic. I would say, yeah, it's not. <laughs> Uh, say uh, a Parisian Grand Projet, huh? but it, 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 it looked quite um, efficient in a way with the focus on the on the on the things that are really necessary to make it. Yeah, it was a very uh, huge uh, battle <laughs> in the competition for the, the prize every time because we we worked um, for this competition. We worked at the beginning with the constructor. So every uh, every move were directly uh, translated in an economic way, in a structural way, in a political way, everything. Mm -hmm. So it was very uh, a, a huge uh, question, uh, even at the beginning of the project, at the early beginning of the project. Yeah. So now I have to uh, uh, say that I have a little bit of problem because my computer is not so stable. C Celine, can you hear me? <laughs> Yes, Maybe yeah, we are I together. Oh, no. okay. We're alone. I can, no, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, I cannot see the the, the YouTube chat because I can I, I can uh, read the questions in the chat. If okay, you. that's cool. Yeah. Um, the first question question is hi, nice presentation. At first, thanks. I would like to know in which way you dealt with the space underneath the highway bridge in your first project. <laughs> Um, attends. On ne refait pas le truc. Just, just, what, what is uh, underneath the, the under the bridge? That's a, that's a question. Yes, that's the question. Uh, oh, uh, now, uh, no, uh, at the beginning, uh, my, okay, we can answer to that. Okay. Uh, now the, the the spaces is a part of the circus school. Uh, below the bridge, and uh, and uh, that uh, uh, that um, that is uh, that is uh, the same thing. The uh, yeah, this is typically uh, the, the uh, a French project. Uh, we used to have a, a very big landscape in the competition, and uh, because uh, it was just uh, something, uh, uh, it was just uh, let like this. Uh, There, there is uh, just a road uh, under the, the bridge, 
and uh, it's it, it remained uh, enfin, at, uh, in, at the end uh, the, the the Ministry of Culture didn't have uh, more uh, money to pay something and to pay the landscape so uh, they said okay we we'll let this like that so we didn't change anything Okay, thank you. And then there's a second question. It is um, also thank you for this inspiring lecture. Can you tell something about using collage to uh, represent your projects and designs? Do you want um, do you want to show a certain atmosphere by using this technique? Yeah. Yes. Atmosphere and uses mainly. Um, perhaps a little bit uh, accorded to our architecture. <laughs> Uh, but uh, um, we have to say that uh, we uh, this process uh, we we launch it very early in the in the design process and uh, we test uh, a lot of uh, spaces uh, with this technique uh, easily uh, finally uh, very early uh, in the project and that very help us to uh, to create. Uh, to, to create architecture and to create our project. And uh, we think that uh, by the end of the design process, uh, that's enough uh, to understand architecture and form and the structure that we uh, wanted to create uh, and the, all the uses uh, uh, the, the directly, um, directly allowed by, this, uh, by, by, by those parts. But uh, it's, a, it's a strange thing. Uh, I think it's the same uh, everywhere in the world, but uh, in France, uh, when you uh, show to a politic uh, some kind of, this kind of uh, collage, um, it's very um, uh, dangerous for, for the project because uh, you can be, uh, they, they can just not understand uh, why you don't show, why, why, why do you show that? And uh, what is the purpose and what is the, the interest of, uh, of this kind of collage and uh, sometimes very often uh, for the big competition uh, politic ask for real um, uh, render realistic realistic render yeah <laughs> they don't care about our collage uh, <laughs> but okay these were all the questions from the audience oh no there's a next one coming sorry <laughs> Um, you are four partners. It's a lot. How do you deal with that? How do you split the work? Do you all work on the same project or on the same phases? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, in fact, um, communists. No, uh, we are totalitarians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, we now uh, we every, every project are um, every uh, every, uh, every uh, lines of uh, each project are shared by the four of us and uh, we uh, have to discuss about everything. That's why we are not so uh, quick, uh, <laughs> so fast, and the project are very uh, a long, uh, a long process, but uh, it's important for us to, uh, to be involved in, uh, in every project of the, of the office. But in fact, after that, uh, one, one partner is in charge of, uh, of the project, but uh, every choices are made by the, the four of us. I think it's the same for you, uh, Oliver. Oh, no, okay, no, we have a completely different structure. <laughs> but in our case, it's completely different, but in our case, it's completely separated, but you don't see it. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, yeah. oh, no. No, no, I know no. that you, you did the good ones. <laughs> no. yeah, but, but I think that was an interesting question because I also was wondering because it, it's not only that you uh, work as a sort of design uh, collaborative, uh, but you do also uh, quite a lot of projects in collaboration uh, with, with other offices. And I think that's always, let's say, uh, in a way, you have to be very strong and you have to be not afraid to lose yourself. And I think you are quite well able to manage, obviously, to give space to others, huh? but also to manage not to lose yourself. And I think that's uh, 
I think that that's tricky, eh? Or <laughs> what's your experience with the collaborations? You, in the long run, <laughs> you want to do everything alone, or is it also uh, how you see that? Nico is going to answer for that, but uh, <laughs> uh, to introduce, I have to say that this is a mess to uh, to organize the the, the work uh, with uh, inside the office with uh, four of us, and then we add a complexity with other offices. So it's uh, quite uh, mad, but, uh, but yeah, it's currently hard to manage. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, yeah, uh, um, in a way that uh, allow to keep uh, uh, the efficient part, uh, the the real, uh, the very interest part of a project. But uh, <laughs> that's right that sometimes. Uh, uh, of course, with other architects, there is some discussion about composition facade, uh, and uh, it's uh, it's uh, yeah, not so easy. It's not so easy to manage, <laughs> particularly the question of the facade. <laughs> okay, so I think uh, Celine, there is no question anymore. So no, uh, that was the last one. Okay, so then I would um, really, Francois and Nicola, I would really say uh, thank you very much for this inspiring uh, lecture. And uh, for the guys in the audience, I would say, I mean, let's say there is also this new uh, H plus called yeah. uh, Very good one. And uh, NPDSF is also uh, part of the issue. There is a fantastic uh, uh, interview with the guys in, in, in the magazine. And I would just uh, advise everybody who wants to know a little bit more and is very curious just to buy the issue and read it because yeah. it might help you further as a young architect. Yeah, uh, everything is inside <laughs> and more. <laughs> also, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you for the invitation. Uh, soon somewhere. See you soon somewhere. Yeah, sure. Somewhere, sure. Maybe in an